players back now and we had some dreary days here, but tomorrow we're getting a bit of a break. Huh? Yes, tomorrow will be a little bit of a break before we see another round of rain, but for the weekend it is looking nice. So that's kind of something to get you through the week. Here is a look at our weather headlines. We've got morning clouds tomorrow, but we'll start to see more sunshine for Wednesday afternoon. So definitely more of an outdoor day uh, compared to the last few days we've been seeing. But wet and breezy for our Thursday. We're going to see some gusty winds, especially along the coast. But warmer and drier for the weekend. We're talking 70s and even 80s by Sunday. So here's a look at our Doppler radar. Today we continue to see that onshore flow keeping us very cloudy throughout the day. We saw a little bit of drizzle here and there. Wasn't anything significant, less than a tenth of an inch for most spots around the area. You do notice pretty clear conditions. There's not a lot of green going on here, which means the showers and all those sprinkles have really died down. And that's what's going to stay overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. So. Here's our rain and cloud forecast. So you might see a few sprinkles mostly along the coast, the higher elevations for tonight. But moving this clock ahead, we see cloudy skies to start the day. Again, maybe some drizzle out along the beaches, that low moisture. Throughout the day, though, we'll see a little bit of clearing. The clouds will move a little bit further into Pendleton and Bend, but mostly sunny skies by the afternoon time, or at least a few sun breaks. So you will see the sunshine. But things change. Here's a look. This next low pressure system, this frontal system, is a little bit stronger than our normal June systems. Bringing in those showers by Thursday morning to the coast, showers throughout the afternoon, especially around lunchtime at the beaches and I 5 corridor. Rain really just continues through the evening hours. Those showers will linger into even our Friday morning, so we will be watching that. But things start to dry out again by Friday afternoon, so much better conditions. But I also want to break down Thursday's weather. Just kind of looking ahead, we'll go into more depth tomorrow as we get closer. But we're going to see some windy and wet conditions gust near 40 to 50 miles per hour. Those southerly winds, coastal ranges going to be gusting up to 45 miles per hour. And even in the valleys, gust near 35 miles per hour. So windy weather and wet weather ahead. Here's a look at that storm wind forecast as of now. As that low pressure system moves into the area, we see those southerly winds where you see those brighter colors, that oranges. That's when we see those stronger winds right around lunchtime. Again, I'll continue to break that down tomorrow. But for tonight, temperatures in the mid 50s for Portland, 55 degrees in Hood River. Today, we were cool again. We were only two degrees warmer this afternoon compared to yesterday. We topped out in the low 60s, 64 degrees are high in Salem. We will be a little bit warmer tomorrow, cool again for Thursday and Friday. But look at those temperatures soar for Saturday, Sunday up into the 80s. Father's Day weekend is looking dry and sunny. If you want to take him golfing or even putt putt golfing, something outside, it's going to be nice and sunny. Here's a look at our forecast. So, again, tonight, mostly cloudy skies, mainly dry for this evening, light winds. Tomorrow morning, definitely a layer type of day where a coat in the morning will be cloudy and cool, but by the afternoon, we'll see that sunshine. You'll need your sunglasses probably. Seasonal temperatures definitely warmer. Your forecast around the rest of the state. So cloudy start, especially along the coast. Partly sunny skies for the afternoon. A little bit cooler at the beaches. 70s for the valley with partly sunny skies by the afternoon. Gorge staying mostly cloudy and mostly sunny for the central part of the state. Mild temperatures in the 70s. Next seven days again. Cooler for Thursday, Friday, and then we're back to the mid 70s. Saturday, warming up for Sunday, and that continues into next week. 83. Holy cow. I know, man. What's that like? <laughs> it's we're been very a while. excited for it. <laughs> Thanks, Claire. It's